how to draw in Hopscotch. Ready? So the first thing you need to do is go to your objects menu, which you can find in this gray plus symbol next to play. And pick the character you want to be your paintbrush. You can pick whoever you want, but I'm going to pick Octo. So add a new rule. And this rule is going to have Octo draw when our finger is on the iPad screen. So first we're in the Whens menu, and this is going to decide when Octo draws. So we want him to draw when the iPad is pressed. So go to More. I know you see iPad is tapped there. That's not the one we're going to use, and I'll explain the difference later. Pick Is Pressed, and then pick iPad. So press Check, and now we're in the editor, and what we want to happen is have Octo draw where your finger is moving. So to draw anything, you want to leave a trail, and that's in the drawing menu, which is purple. So tap on that arrow and pull out a leave a trail block. So this is the color that your character will leave the trail of, and this is the width, which is how thick the trail will be. So let's pick a color we like. I'm going to pick red. Pick whatever you want. And the width, I mean, why don't we make it five? It's just a little bit smaller. You can press check here when you're done making your choices. So now move forward is not the block we want. What this would do is it would have your character leave a trail like this, but we want it to be a little more precise, so we're going to drag this off the screen. And let's go up to set position, because what we want is for Octo to be at an exact point. And set position places Octo on a part of the screen, and these two bubbles means x is how far along the left-right axis. So the left end of the screen would be 0x, halfway across the screen would be 500x, and all the way to the right of the screen would be 1000x. And y means how high up the screen. So the bottom of the screen would be 0y, halfway up the screen would be 400y, and the very top of the screen would be y equals 800. So these numbers, if we just had 200 and 200, then he would just be right over here the whole time. But we don't want these normal numbers. We want special numbers that can change based on what happens in your project, and those are values. So you can find those right here. So tap on values, and these are Octo's values, but we want the iPad's values, so if you tap on this gray symbol next to Octo, you are now in the iPad's values, and these two puppies are what we want. Last touch X and last touch Y. And what these mean are the last spot where your finger touched the iPad. So plug X into the X bubble, now tap on the Y bubble, and go back to values, which is next to calculator, and tap on last touch Y, and check this out. Now go to play. Whoa! So now you are drawing. Isn't that cool? So there's one problem, though. If I take my finger off the screen and put it somewhere else, he jumps over there and leaves a trail, and we don't want that. So go back to edit, and we need a new rule. So get out of this rule and tap add a new rule. And now we want to pick when the iPad is tapped. So the main difference is that whereas iPad is pressed continues to happen when your finger is on the screen, iPad is tapped only happens once, and that's the moment your finger touches the screen. So what we're trying to do in this rule is that if you take your finger off the screen and put it somewhere else, we want to jump Octo to that spot before he draws that straight line. That can be really pesky. So what we want to do is just set position, no drawing this time. So go to movement, and set position places your character where you want it to be. And for X, go to values again, which is next to calculator, and go to the iPad's values, which is to the right of Octo, so tap on that gray arrow, and pick last touched X. And now pick the Y bubble, go to values again, and last touched Y. And now check it out. So drawing over here, drawing over here, and no line right here, except that I've just drawn it out. But drawing over here, drawing over here, super cool. Okay, there's one last thing that I want to do, and that is get rid of Octo because he's kind of in the way. So get out of there, add one more rule, and say when the play button is tapped, this is the beginning of your project, I want to make Octo disappear. So go to looks and sounds, which is green, pull out a set invisibility block, and make it 100. This means he's fully invisible. Now let's make a masterpiece. So one last note, every time you start this project, it will start as a blank screen. If you want to save your drawings, you have to make sure to take a screenshot. 
Also, the way your project looks when you publish is what the thumbnail will be in the community. So make sure to press publish once your picture is done. And then when you play it again, it will be a blank project for other people to draw onto. So now head over to the community and check out the super cool ways users have added things like color and brush size to their drawer projects and learn by playing. Okay, bye.